Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And today what I'm going to do is an experiment using nail polish. Now I was asked by one of my subscribers a while back whether you can use nail varnish in resin or not. And to be honest, I really don't know. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm prepared to give it a try. One thing I do know is that nail varnish stinks. So definitely if you're gonna use this, wear a mask or work outside in a well ventilated area. This has come with great range of colours, which I'm really pleased about because I need to make some dragon eyes anyway on some cabochons that I've already made. But the annoying thing is they've all got numbers on them, but these numbers don't correspond to any colour. And being colour blind, it makes it almost impossible for me to identify what the colours are. You'd have thought, as they all had individual numbers on, they would put a little chart somewhere saying that's what colour they are. But they didn't. So anyway, I'm going to try it in um, my pendant mould and also in this very old coaster mould that I use for a lot of my experiments because it is not a mould that I care if it gets ruined. Neither is this one. I've got several of these and I already ruined the top part of this and cut that off. And so I'm going to be using this one as well to see if there's any sort of reaction. Now, I anticipate there's going to be a reaction but I'm going to do this in a safe way, using a mask and ensuring that I don't get it anywhere or ruin anything that I'm concerned about keeping. So I do this so you don't have to. Don't forget, check out the video coming up at the end of this video on some of the other experiments I've done that have been really, really successful and I'm really pleased with how they've come out. And they've been really popular as well and given some great results for jewellery. Not sure this is gonna do the same though. So what I've got now is I've got my resin mixed up and I've chosen four different colours. I have no idea what colours they are, as I said earlier. And I've also got a pot of clear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some in there. Now, I'm not going to pop too much in there because they're small pots. And also, I don't know how this is going to react or even if it's going to react or what it's going to do. So it does mix in okay, there's no problem with it mixing in. And I never thought mixing in would be a problem. I don't know whether it's going to react with the resin and make it overheat and cure really, really quickly. Or if it's going to not cure at all because of it. Or what it's gonna do, I have no idea. I mean, the colors are, I mean, that is a bit washed out, that glittery one. They're all mixed up now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave them five minutes. Now, I always leave my resin five minutes anyway in the pot once I've decanted it into smaller pots to release any bubbles that are there. So that's a normal procedure for me. So I'm gonna leave this now for five minutes to see what happens. Well, surprisingly, these haven't reacted yet with the resin. It's not heated it up, it's not done anything to it. Um, it's just the same as it was when I poured it in, which I'm quite surprised about. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pour some of this in here and see what happens. I mean, the colors are just like a transparent pigment, really, I suppose. It'll be interesting to see how they cure. And if they cure. So they're the four colors. And I don't mind the colors either. So we'll put that to one side. And then here's the coaster. And what I'm going to do with the coaster is I'm gonna put a bit in the coaster to start with of normal clear. And then I'm gonna drop some in it and see what how it reacts and whether it blends or stays where it is or what it does really, because I have no idea what it's going to do. That's the nail varnish put into both the resin moulds that I'm going to be using. I might do a bangle. In fact, I think I will do a bangle. So there we go. We'll come back to this once it's all cured. I'll cover it up now. I'll leave it until tomorrow and Hopefully it'll work. I'm not holding out much hope, but it'll be a nice surprise if it does. 
Don't forget, so you don't miss out on future videos and all the other experiments and great projects I do, hit that subscribe button and please hit that like button as well, which is the thumbs up. And share this video wherever you can, really does help my channel. Also, if you want additional perks, behind the scenes and other training and tutorials, then please check out the join button right next to the subscribe button, which gives you access to a lot more support and also joining a VIP Facebook group where you can have more contact with me if you need it. There's also a buy me a coffee button which can be found at the top of my homepage or in the description below to all my videos. I cannot tell you how much it helps. It really does enable me to keep buying and doing these, these sorts of experiments as well. It's just a one-off thing. It can be whatever you want. I really do appreciate it. Can't tell you how much I appreciate the support. Right, let's wait for these to cure. These have cured now, and I let them cure for about 30 hours. I actually, at one point, didn't think they were gonna cure because they had taken quite a while and they were quite flexible for longer than what normally would happen. But actually, I think that is nothing to do with the use of the nail varnish. I think that what that was to do with is because it's turned really cold here and I've got used to things curing a little bit quicker. And as you can see on this one, there is some marks here and that is where I bent it to see if it was cured, to be honest. So let's get these out. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's worked really, really well. It's quite a pastely opaque colour. They're still very, very strong. And I, I, I mean, I think it's a transparent, almost like a smoky effect in some of them. But yeah, I really do think it's worked quite well. And this coaster mould is an old mould. Don't forget, this is the one I showed you how to dull a mould with normal paper if you weren't careful. So I use it a lot for testing, that's why it's dull in the middle. It has nothing to do with the actual nail varnish because the varnish, the resin is still shiny on the other side. I quite like that effect. So let's look at the pendants. Okay, as you can see, that is the one I ruined because I bent it and tried to check it and see if it was cured when it quite obviously wasn't cured. This is why you need a little bit of patience and it has got a fingerprint, big fingerprint on the back as well. But that one has come out really nice, I think, with the sparkly bits in it. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. And it's quite transparent. And so is that one. And again, this is an old mould one I use. I use it for testing a lot. So my verdict on this is it's worked. I really didn't think it was going to work, but it has given a translucent look to the resin. I quite like the little sparkly bits in it. I think that's come out lovely. Um, it's quite impressive. Would I use it again? Um, absolutely, I would. Yeah, if this is the effect that I was looking for, I would certainly use it again. Definitely the glittery ones, because I think they've come out really, really well. Surprisingly, for me, very surprisingly, because I was genuinely almost 100% sure that this would not work, because I thought it would affect the resin in a way that I wasn't prepared for, it has worked. And it just goes to show there are a lot of things that you can use in resin to colour it without spending an absolute fortune. Check out my video that's coming up now on the screen. That's some other experiments that I've done. Don't forget, check out the join button below next to the subscribe button for lots of extra perks and different things. And if you want to just say a little thank you or support this channel in any way, then there is a buy me a coffee link on the main screen or below in the description and you can just buy me a coffee. And it really does help. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.